why are so many young people dying of heart attacks, cardiac arrest? These are the questions that have flashed on everybody's minds with no logical reason or conclusion. Everybody seems to be functioning from a modicum of myth, trying to understand whether it is the pandemic or working out in the gym are the possible factors. In Telangana alone, we are looking at two 13-year-olds, 16-year-olds dying of cardiac arrest. So what is exactly happening? To understand how you can protect your heart health, I am being joined by Dr. Anil Krishna, renowned cardiologist and also the chairman of the Medicover Group of Hospitals. So thank you so much for your valuable time. Why have we become so vulnerable? So now we have an epidemic of uh, metabolic diseases, uh, saying that, you know, diabetes, hypertension. Uh, this is uh, the crux of the problem. So, you know, our dietary styles, our uh, exercise levels and uh, and our stress levels, uh, they, are, they have gone haywire. So the basic essence is we are not eating proper diet, we are not doing the proper exercise and we are enormously stressed and the globalization and the varied changes in the dietary habits which are uh, ham which have changed us uh, in the recent times is the basic cause for uh, all this so you are stressing on the diet factor but what explains uh, 15 year olds 13 year olds dropping dead especially in in states like telangana where we've seen a wave of such incidents in the recent times no, it is tough to, you know, if it is really proven that there is uh, 13 and 15 year as a cardiac coronary disease, uh, then uh, it is a serious concern. There could be some genetically uh, inborn hyperlipidemic states, uh, you know, where uh, generally these tend to precipitate as a heart attacks or uh, in the very early ages. Other than that, uh, it is quite uncommon to see in this uh, 13 to 16 years. This has to be uh, basically they have to be screened from for the familial hypercholesterolemia or any other uh, 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 lipid uh, changes or other things uh, which in fact would have uh, led to the heart attacks rather than the general heart attacks which we see in uh, other people. What are the symptoms does one need to watch out for? Generally, uh, a stable uh, angina is one thing, you know, when you walk certain distance or climb a stairs, you know, you tend to feel the heaviness in the chest and you are forced many times to stop or uh, that's the classic symptom. Uh, otherwise, it is the breathing problem. So you, you cannot breathe properly, uh, you know, when you are trying to do a normal exercise which you tend to, you are able to climb two stairs of floors and you are not, uh, you get breathless or chest pain by one floor of stairs. Then it is a typical classic symptom of, uh, you know, stable angina. When you get heaviness in the chest, sometimes radiating to the uh, left arm, maybe to the abdomen, maybe to the jaws or to the back, so the, this is quite unstable and this is called either an unstable angina or you have a frank heart attack that's myocardial infarction. So uh, these are the symptoms when you have rest pain it is more or less an emergency kind of a scenario you need to visit the nearest hospital be at rest you can't force yourself to walk long distances or anything you have to just stay where you are try to pick the nearest uh, transport and reach the nearest hospital these are these are the things uh, you know at least will prevent the shed and deaths which happen generally what happens there is some uneasiness they feel it's gastritis let us do some workouts it may settle down Maybe this is the incidences why you see heart attacks in the gyms, you know, collab people collapsing. You don't realize that it's a heart attack and some someone like a, you know, just building muzzle uh, doesn't uh, prevent uh, any heart attack. Interestingly, you mentioned uh, the gym factor. You know, there's a lot of discussion on social media or WhatsApp university as one would call it, where people are saying that those who are working out in the gym, lifting heavy weights are prone to heart attacks. How true is this? It's uh, definitely, uh, you know, a myth or a false propaganda. Definitely exercise and doing a gym in a trained fashion uh, is uh, all the way advisable. But what is not advisable, why a lot of this, you know, bodybuilders are coming to the whole thing is uh, the use of steroids to showcase the muzzle or build the muzzle uh, component. This is one of the major reason why, you know, uh, uh, these generally they don't have any 
fixed blocks, many, majority of times there will be a rupture of uh, the vessel inside, you know, the, what you call as a dissection or anything uh, such of, and uh, a sudden formation of clot, uh, you know, that leads to the heart attacks. Exercise in a trained systematic fashion is always needed. Doing gym doesn't cause that and you need to train uh, for that. You cannot go and lift 100 kilos on day one. You have to train yourself to that. If you force yourself, you are bound to have problems either in the form of muscles or it could be a heart or any other issue also. Also, Dr. Anil Krishna, um, what about the fact that uh, many people believe and have started believing that post-pandemic, especially those who have taken the vaccines and the steroids while they were undergoing treatment uh, are uh, susceptible to heart attacks and cardiac arrest. They, there is no proven uh, uh, relationship between the pandemic or the, ste or the vaccines or any of the other stuff which has steroid is there with us for ages and there are a lot of conditions where we use steroids. Steroids cause a metabolic derangement. That's a different story on a long run, a long, uh, long usage of steroids. The steroid usage in COVID is for a particular days, maybe a few days or maximum a week. I don't think there is any correlation or there is any proven correlation across the globe, uh, you know, that pandemic has increased uh, the uh, uh, heart attacks or uh, anything of that sort. Um, Probably, you know, we were in a restricted envir environment for the last uh, couple of years. Now everything is opened up and all your stresses and your lifestyle is back. I think there was a, a sudden, you know, shrinkage because of the cardiac cases. And now they are, you know, flaring up much more rather than a pandemic relation. Also, how potent is stress a factor? Because stress is being doubted as the silent killer. Is stress a big factor causing heart attacks and uh, cardiac arrest? Stress definitely, you know, your sympathetic activity uh, is uh, bound to be a higher and what stress does invariably uh, leads to hypertension, insul insulin resistance and eventually probably diabetes. All these factors in an indirect way are going to harm, uh, increase the uh, CAD risk in the long run. Also, one thing that has been established is that Heart attack sees no age nor gender. Earlier it was under the conception that 60-year-olds uh, get heart attacks. But now we've seen people as young as 10-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 13-year-olds get heart attacks. There have been so many incidents in the recent times. How does one protect their heart health, irrespective of age? What kind of screening needs to be done? What kind of precautions need to be taken? Let's not forget that stress is something which has become a day in, uh, uh, day in life uh, of our activities. So the basic thing comes with uh, screening of our risk factors. That's where I think uh, our country should start because you know there is rapid globalization, urbanization, the food habits. And you know we're all uh, entering a comfort zone or you know as the economy is going the availability of food is there, the availability, you know, even, you know, especially uh, there is a transformation in the upper upper classes at least, you know, that you need to do exercise, eat properly, you eat a proper diet, cut down your sugar intake, all this stuff in this. But the middle class and the low middle class, you know, where there is more and more money coming up and, you know, the first thing, you know, you enjoy, every one of us enjoys the food. That's where we are ending up in all these issues, uh, untimely eating, sometimes in the softwares and uh, the other centers. More and more eating is the cause. And to start with, it is a big story how you have to transform. The West has done it, uh, you know, uh, now from the curriculum, right from the school, you know, you have a health education, what you people generally from the school, they run, they do, they keep themselves fit, you know they eat the right thing they are conscious of what they are eating so that has to start on a long run but at least right now we are into an, uh, some kind of an epidemic like scenario at least now we need to screen the risk factors in the first phase in someone having diabetes someone having hypertension someone having a thyroid disease all this has to be screened the cholesterol levels this i think previously we used to think 40 and above you start mm -hmm. screening now i think we should bring down the age even to the 20s okay. screen for the risk factors now modify your diet and your um, your lifestyle according to the risk factors and even if it is go above 40s now because of the shrinkage in the cardiac uh, uh, shrinkage in the age for a cad i think uh, you need to do the cardiac screening like the your echo treadmill test and uh, 
uh, ECGs in a in a lesser age group come in the 40s even How in the 40s How less are we talking about in terms of age groups I think uh, what is the ideal for the risk factors I think we should bring down to maybe 25 or 30 okay. or for cardiac uh, screening I think we should bring it to 40 okay. uh, I think th- I think at least because we are seeing 30s 40s lot of these people uh, ending up if if you see all your sudden deaths uh, in all the you know the page 3 people they are in their 40s or early 50s also uh, is there any kind of test uh, uh, please educate me on it where you can see whether there is any kind of deposit in your heart some calcium test as i as i am given to understand see <coughs> the ct calcium score uh, is a predictor of a you know a, a cad risk you know but uh, you can't screen everyone with a ct uh, calcium score or a ct angio you know, and it's not definite they know that uh, people with high calcium score invariably will have a heart attack like scenario you cannot predict uh, a heart attack just based on a block you cannot uh, predict uh, you know a heart attack just they may have a block in the future they are at increased risk but definitely doesn't mean that they will end up and th- that screening the calcium and other stuff you know uh, is too expensive and for a large sector of population it is too tough to you know uh, do, uh, do such kind of a screenings so before summing it up again uh, five tips that people across all ages must follow to protect their heart health mental health to protect themselves from any kind of let's say external exposure stress is something that's part and parcel of our lives but still regardless of that how does one take care of themselves the first and foremost i think we uh, we all should know is the diet you know cut down the sugars mm. the sugar intake has to be managed probably even the government has to bring in a policy on the sugar content of the foods ready uh, you know the ready made foods which we get uh, on the shelf foods the sugar is the biggest danger for uh, the cad and that has to be sorted out we should be conscious of what we are eating eat healthy you know fiber is always good now we have a millet uh, you know uh, resolution passed by the government i think the millets are good you have a complex carbs rather than you, the rice and wheat where you have more uh, refined uh, sugars there so diet will be crucial then exercise you every one of us right from the childhood we should start exercising uh, spend at least 30 minutes either in whatever form it could be gym it could be your swimming it could be your running walking whatever form you like you need to uh, uh, keep uh, doing that second screening at least now because we would have already had you know the pre existing metabolic diseases like the diabetes hypertension screen for them on a regular intervals once in maybe uh, as you age the fr- frequency of uh, screening should come down but a- at least when you are young maybe once in 2 3 years i think you need to uh, screen them and keep your stress in bay start doing meditation get back the, to the old ways do meditation try to do some yogas and uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, take take life as it comes and finally you know uh, know your symptoms everyone should know what they are going through they should be educated and trained what a heart attack could be and you know uh uh what are the symptoms where what makes it an emergency to rush to a doctor or a or a hospital and uh, uh, final question you are a cardiologist how do you take care of yourself so i am more conscious of the diet now so i am not the same person as what i am i used to be obese uh, or i if not obese overweight before so i have cut down the intake of carbs and uh, you know the sugars i generally uh, walk 5 to 6 days a week almost an hour and uh, i enjoy my life and what about smoking drinking these habits uh, oh so we miss the major uh, chunk uh, smoking is an absolute disaster and uh, i think we should be uh, away from uh, sm- uh, smoking the the habits and the drug abuse 
all this I think they are in the extremes. I am talking about a normal person, uh, you know, who does a regular thing, not into the smoking and other things. You know, uh, sorry, I, I forgot about smoking. I think uh, all this, uh, no, no, no smoking at all. Zero, zero tolerance on smoking. Thank you so much, Dr. Anil Krishna. So those were the tips and tricks from the good doctor here. Diet, main factor, smoking, drinking could only ex uh, aggravate your situation and also what is important is do not fall into any kinds of myths, follow exercise, lead a good lifestyle, handle stress in your own way. I think these are the mantras that perhaps all of us should swear by. With Venkatesh, Vijay here in Hyderabad, Swastika Das for CNN News 18.